What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called PitcherList.com. You get all of the fun things that you want in baseball world. We do like 10 to 15 articles a day. I cover everything starting pitching. I was a former college pitcher and pitching coach and travel baseball coach. And today we're going to do something very interesting. We're going to talk about Jose Barrios. And I normally go over guys that do great things because I love just amazing pitchers doing fantastic things. I want to showcase to everybody. I want to educate and and display this joy of the sport but it's also important to talk about the guys that aren't doing well and what is going on with this it's 14 earned runs across his last two starts and this was an atrocity against the Brewers he already allowed three runs in the first inning we're going to look at this second one I call him the great undulator because he goes up and down the entire season this is certainly a nadir for Jose Brio so let's see how that happened and he starts off with essentially free real estate. That's an 83-mile-per-hour curveball uh, for a strike. And he wants to swing at it. And it's against Tyrone Taylor. And if I'm Barrios, I'm like, great, throw a sinker inside now. And that's what he does. And that's a really good pitch. This is really good. And the guy hits it into the gap for, I believe, a double if that's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's unfortunate. That's exactly what the pitch caller would have done. Maybe you want a little bit more inside, but that's on the inside corner. Like, at 94, after throwing a breaking ball away that he's swinging at? That's exactly what I would have suggested. Okay. So now he throws a change up. It's up and away. He gets it for a strike, but the guy is going to do it. A, a, oh, no. <laughs> I feel like with every disaster inning, you're going to have... Every 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 disaster inning has a play like this, right? Where you execute a decent first pitch and the guy just <sighs> that happens, you know. Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap, and that's baseball. Oh man! All right, first and third gets the strike call down. Okay, he doesn't swing at the heater. Kind of tells you maybe he's just taking a pitch. Uh, it's kind of surprising, actually. This is this is a situation where it's second and third. Uh, first pitch to the next guy. Normally, they're aggressive. And normally, they would be swinging at a pitch like that, especially a fastball. So, you normally pitch a breaking ball. The fact that Brias won with a fastball there is interesting. Maybe he's thinking that they're all jumping on those early fastballs. He throws a good sinker inside here. Now, he's swinging at that. So, what that normally would say is, all right, let's throw the breaking ball away. And he throws it. Hmm. Ah, okay. Um, so at 0-2, at, at, as an 0-2 pitch, you want to do a couple things. One, you want to throw something that is not actually hittable. Or if they do, they hit it and it's very likely an out, right? That, that is what you're trying to do. You have the situation where you can uh, let the batter get themselves out at this point, right? You don't need to give in to them in the slightest. And when I talk about where you want to throw pitches, just in general, where are the hardest places to hit the ball and where are the easiest places to hit the ball? Uh, if you're throwing a sinker, uh, you want to be throwing it inside here, and you don't want to throw it here. You don't want to throw it here. You don't want to throw anything around here, right? It is hardest to hit the ball over here and over here. And so in an 0-2 pitch, Barrios puts it right here where if you're committing and the entire way you are you can get the barrel of the bat to the ball and you're gonna say nick that is on the corner of the zone but this is not equal to this or this this is the one you don't want to do these are the ones you would want to do and at o2 specifically you want this here you want this coming inside that way off of the plate so if you do get that that's the third base and then get them at home right but this turns into that and it's just and you can look at that and you can say well that's just bad luck that's an infield single that like oh man infield single but that's actually just bad execution and i would not even argue that like why are you even throwing a sinker at one two you have a really good curveball you have a good change up like throw that instead it's little things like that that can make a huge huge difference and now he's trying, I believe that's the breaker. It could be also be the changeup. He's against the second base. I mean, that's just bad is what it is. Trying to throw a secondary pitch in this situation makes sense. 
And good, throw the curveball. Oh, wow, that is a gift. That is a gift. Jesus. I mean, throwing the breaker is a good call there, but man, that's a gift. Hopefully you can take advantage of that gift. Probably not. Now nah, I couldn't get his fastball up. Okay. I mean, it's, re it's really hard right now. Like, 2-1, what do you throw? Like, you couldn't throw the curveball first, right? You had a call on it, but I don't know. Your fastball has been hit a little bit. I mean, it looks like they're trying to go fastball up and in, which I think is fine, but is he going to be able to do it? No, they are going with the curveball, and he can't do it, right? I mean, technically you have a base open, but there's nobody out. Like, you need to get somebody out. Change up. Oh, that's a good pitch. I mean, at this point, look. Okay. So, at this point in the inning, right? Second and third, nobody out. As a coach, you're like, he's going to allow a run. The chances of a run coming in are high. You take an out. You take one of these out, maybe man on third, one out. There's a higher chance of you getting out of it. So you're okay with this result, despite it being, you know, that's a run on the board, but chances are not in your favor. So a changeup is a really is is fine with me, and he threw for a strike here. I mean, it's the second time it's a little bit up, but I mean, this is pretty good. This is that's a result that you're willing to take. Yelich. Uh, pulls it, and I have to say, he's probably fully thinks this is a fastball a bit and is ready to yank it at 3 1 because that's what he's looking for at 3 1. So that's understandable. That's why the changeup is a good idea. And he rolls it over to first. The defense is back. They get the out. Okay. You know, that's 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 understandable. Good stuff. He executed well. Not ideal. But like, there's thresholds of what's good and bad here, and that's that's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> That's just a terrible fastball. Like, I mean, generally right now, you know, we talk about this guy in scoring position comes up. Like, guys are more aggressive with guys and runners in scoring positions in general. So, you have a man on third, and you throw a fastball. That's right down the pipe. And Domus is just ready to go up and smack it, dude. <laughs> Change up. Oh, curveball. Okay, cool. Free real estate. Nice. Good job. Way to get it. Change up away. Oh, another one. Oh, no. So... Okay, you can get free real estate, right? But you can't overdo it. And Tellez, Tellez is a big boy, all right? And against a big boy, you can't, you know, he knows that he's used to breaking balls and everything. So seeing, it, you got away with one at 0, -0. If you're going to throw another breaker, you better get it here. You better get it down and away so that he has to go down and do something with us. But he's looking for that breaker now. And this is... Oh, boy, that's a hanger. Yeah. Tellez is going to smack that. Yep. Not great, Barrios. Fastball waiting. You got another call. I mean, that he hasn't had that pitch the entire time, you know. That's a changeup. Righty against righty. Okay, ground out. Like, this is fine. You know, like, this is, I'm okay with this. Oh, one, you got a you free strike on it. You got the ground bulk. He thinks it's another fastball because he just got the other one. They got the call away from. It all makes sense why he's throwing this. This is fine. And he got an out with it. If it wasn't an out, I would still call it fine. Right? Okay, you got two outs. Just get out of this, man. That looks like a tugged changeup. Oh, wow. Hurry us. What's going on, buddy? Because that's actually pretty dang hittable. This is a pretty hittable heater. We're talking about, like, the zones and stuff from here and here. You know? It's pretty hittable. Uh, that's really nice. This is free real estate, essentially. Like, if you try it. I mean, you're happy that he swings at this. Because if this gets into play, he's out. You know? Throw another one. He wants to swing. Yeah. That's a good pitch. I'll take that one, two all day. I'll probably throw a second one. Oh, a change up inside. Oh, that's dead. Oh, man. So, this is pretty cool. Um, it's a change up in a 2 2 count, righty and righty crime. The problem with it is that it went too much this way as opposed to that way. Because when you get a guy to commit on a. When you get a guy to commit on a change up, you want to be in a place where they struggle to hit it. That is easier to hit because that's right where the barrel is. And they get fooled on it, they just like let go of the bat and they'll hit it, you know? Um, did he do it again? Did he foul off another one? Oh, he fouled off a good curve. That's a good curveball. Get it a little bit farther out of the zone. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Th that's what I mean. Like, th that's the difference. So, like, this one, 
you know, think about this. What is a good 2-2 curveball, right, from a guy that has been a little bit aggressive? You would think it would be this one. Oh, no. Oh, let me do this again. What is... <laughs> It's a 2-2 count. What do you think is a good curveball to throw? You would think it would be this one. Because that's down away and right there and very, very, uh, you know, very competitive. But this is just a foul ball as Arias spoiled this. So actually, the better curveball is this one. And that's actually out of the zone. So if he does hit it, then it becomes a weak ground ball and you get your out. And that is a scenario where it's not always the same. Depends on what the batter is telling you, but this wasn't a bad where Urias was swinging at pitches constantly, fouling them off, and you needed to adjust with the batter to get that out. Good job with Brios doing that. Uh, it's you know that was very frustrating to watch. I think the the two major problems that I saw. I'm trying to get a good image of Brios and I don't have it. The two major issues I see here is one not trusting his fastball to go around the edges and get strikes that he needs it's very important that the fastball is there so they can set up those curveballs and change ups out of the zone and then made a really bad curveball decision or, or uh, yeah at 101 and really poorly executed it and i don't think it was the right call and then there was the earlier one with the um with the o2 sinker down and in which is just not that's just not going to help things so, you know, so like the change up to Yelich was good. The the double that happened, that was just kind of like, oh, man. Like that was a decent sinker inside, and then the guy bunted for a hit. But it was really that infield single that wasn't very good, and then the two-run shot wasn't very good. Uh, a lot of little things here, and the little things can turn this from a five-run inning into maybe a one-run inning, and that's everything. So I, I want you guys to understand this with Brio. So, yeah, he's not at his best form, but there are starts like these where it's not like a lost cause. He still executes some good pitches, but, you know, there are little tweaks that he can make that it can make him better. But, all right, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and all that kind of stuff. Like, leave comments. It helps me out so much. So thanks so much for being here watching these videos. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. And me your Babs below. And we strike outside.